Okay, guys, I am going to show you how I did uh, my ink drawings. So I've got my pencil, I actually got this shading pencil here that I'm going to use for uh, something a little later. Um, Sharpie, um, I can get a fat Sharpie. I've got some colored pencils here. I kind of chose a color scheme. I did uh, pinks and purples. Um, and so I want to show you, this is the one I'm going to show you how I did today. Um, and again, I think it looks like he's got a lot of texture. He's kind of fluffy and fuzzy. Um, I did him a little bow tie just because I felt like it. Um, and again, I told you I, I did pinks to purples to try to kind of create this color scheme. And then I did one um, after that that was a little bit more realistic. Um, he's not as cute, I don't think. He looks kind of sad. But I did him all with the um, shading pencils. Um, and oops, which are right here. Sorry. My shading pencil, this one, ebony. And um, my Sharpie. I used uh, the thin Sharpie pen. So, you know, again, you can um, experiment and do your uh, emu, or he looks kind of like an ostrich too, um, however you want to. So I'm going to show you how I started this little guy, because they're basically the same. It's just um, one looks a little more naturalistic in the shading and everything, whereas this one's more cartoonish. But um, if you can do this, you can do that. Okay. So I'm going to get started. So in the center of my piece of paper, I am going to draw, and I'm going to use this ebony pencil because I actually can see it better instead of the marker, um, because then I can erase this by myself. So I'm going to start in the center here with kind of a triangle shape. Like that, okay, and that's gonna. Oh, you can't see that. I guess I'm gonna have to like that. So, there we go. Okay, so I've got kind of my triangle shape here that I've got going, and instead, since I'm trying to make them look more like this, I'm gonna kind of curve the top. So, I'm gonna kind of curve over like that, okay. Then, I'm gonna come out kind of like this, I'm gonna come out kind of like this, and then I'm gonna come back down like that. Okay, so now if this were my, um, you know, the one that I really wanted to keep, I'd probably erase this up here because I don't want that. And I don't want it to be pointed. I want it to be kind of rounded. So then I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw a line here and I'm going to go down. Right. So this is like the bottom of his mouth or his beak, I guess I should say. And this is the top of it. And then I'm going to put here like little um, circles for his nostrils, like that. So again, you know, I could go and I can change this if I don't like it, um, but I'm gonna go stick with that. And then I'm gonna go and draw two circles. So I'm gonna kind of put them kind of close to this. And I'm gonna make them kind of big. I've got one there. And then I've got another one there. Hey, they're pretty much the same size, that's good. Usually that never happens. So I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. Um, and ah, there, we there we go. So now I want to do, um, now I could do his eyes any way I wanted to, but I'm going to kind of repeat what I did here. So I'm going to draw kind of like a half circle or a backwards C here, and then I'm going to draw the little white part. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger this time, like that. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to do a C like that. And then I'm going to do the same kind of little thing like this. Okay, I'm going to do the same kind of thing here, kind of like, I don't know what shape you call like a comma. That's what it kind of looks like to me. And so I could go and I could color this all in black. Um, that's how I did it here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give him some eyelashes. I could even kind of make them thick like that if I wanted to. Um, do some other ones kind of like that. And then I could draw a circle around, which kind of helps me when I'm, I'm going and adding my color. I might just lightly go over here and kind of make it kind of, kind of curve like this. I want to kind of make them kind of rounded, more like that, okay? And then I can come back down here. Oopsie, I want to come in this way more. And then do his neck like that, okay? So you can kind of see that. Oopsie. And then I can go in with my colors and I can go and erase this later. All right. So one of the things I might do in here is I might make this part here kind of thicker. Like that. There's a little beak. Like that. And then I might change this a little bit more like that. And when I do things like that, then I'll go back in. Usually I always draw really light, like a whisper. Get Draw light until you get it right because then it's easier to erase all my marks. And see, I already kind of like that one better. 
And so now what I'd want to do is I might come in here and I could use crayons. I could use colored pencils. Um, in the video that I'm going to show you, I'm going to do um, my colored pencils. And I chose again, I tested them first on a piece of paper, but I chose my pinks and my purples. And I started with the lightest color here, but you could do a darker color here and then lighter here. And um, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try, I'm going to do blues and greens. I'm just going to do these three right here. And I'm going to start with my dark color here. Okay, so now I might come in here. Oh. And if you wanted to, I forgot about this, we can go over, in fact, let me do that right now. I'm going to go over my drawing with my marker. Now you don't have to use a marker if you don't want to, but I'm going to go ahead and finish it. I'm going to go ahead and do this part. And so again, I'm going to go ahead and color this in. But I'm just going to kind of outline. Now I'm not going to outline his head. I'm just going to do his eyes and his beak. This one, and then I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. I can't see like that. Now, as I'm doing this again, I don't want to do the, this pencil part here because I don't want his. Um, I, I don't want that to be a sharp black line underneath all this brilliant color. I want to make him look kind of furry and fuzzy. And if I have all these heavy black lines, I think it might be harder to make him look furry and fuzzy. So now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do his beak. And then come out. You can see I'm already changing it just a little bit. And that's okay, because that's what I do. If I don't like it, the better I get at doing this. The more practice I have, the better I'll get at it. Yeah. Like that. Okay. And so when my ink is all dry, especially, and this is pretty fast dry ink. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna erase. This. Oops, I forgot his nostrils. I might erase any parts I don't like. And again, even if um, my pencil kind of, if I press too hard with my pencil, I'm going to go in over it with color. So no one's really going to see my mess ups. And if they're looking for me to mess up, then they're not a good friend of mine. So, <laughs> so and I'm going to even make these little nostrils a little bit bigger. I'm making kind of like those comments. There we go. So there we go. I've got my little guy. And um, again, I'm going to go with my colors. So I'm going to start with the dark color this time. And I want him to look kind of like he's got fluffy little feathers. So I might even come in here with a little bit of this blue. And I'm using my lines. Remember, line is one of our elements of art. And I'm just going to kind of color him in lightly with this blue. Okay. And then I'm going to do some little lines. And because I want him to look kind of like he's fluffy and like his feathers are going every which way. Um, yeah, I might make some short lines, I might make some long lines, and then I'm going to do some more following back here. It's kind of like I'm doing a rose, like a rainbow, I guess, if you the best way to describe it. And I'm just kind of layering my colors on top. This is all the blue here. And then I'm going to go in with my, my colored pencils. Now, I'm going to put in another video, and that's um, this one that I did here. And it's going to be fast forward, and it's showing you basically the same thing. And I go back and back and back and forth uh, until I kind of feel like I got everything right. So now, since I'm doing dark to light on this guy, I'm going to go dark blue, then I'm going to dark green. And it's easier to see if I, if I do my lines first. So I might even just kind of do some of these first. And then I can always go in and color it in a little more solidly. And of course, he's going to have some like, I guess they're kind of like bushy eyebrows, but I think these would all be his feathers, really. And I'm going to go ahead and lightly color in the background a little bit. And so I might even want to come in here and erase this. I don't want that to be left underneath there, but I can kind of still see it. You can't, but I can kind of see it. And then I might even do like, you know, And then I could do, you know, you could even do rainbow colors. I think I might be kind of cool. So now, this one, this one's really light. So I may have to do some dark ones on top of this. You can see it. And I'm kind of blending in my colors, overlapping them a little bit. And remember, I'm trying to create that texture, you know, like that he's uh, light and fluffy and furry, fuzzy. I like some of those photos that we're looking at. So there you go. I've got, I'm on to a start to so kind of finish them off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this video here.
And again, um, I'm going to layer colors, dark colors, light colors. This is a dark orange, then I add some yellow, then I add some brown. So just gonna have some fun with it, trying to create a light, fluffy little emu ostrich, whatever he is. Um, and I think he looks like that. I think he looks fluffy like a little emu. So we'll see you back at the end. Bye. Okay, so now you guys have seen how I did this little uh, emu, um, made him really colorful, um, just because I wanted to make him really colorful. Um, then the next video is going to be this little guy. He looks kind of grumpy. Um, and he is uh, gonna be in the next video. And of course I fast that up so that you don't have to go uh, and watch the whole thing. But I did it with my, um, Prismacolor ebony pencil, but you could use a regular pencil. And then I used, um, you know, some Sharpie. I used the thin Sharpie and then one that was a little bit fatter, this one. So again, you know, I smudged with my fingers to kind of blend some of this. And then I also did some erasing to kind of remove some of the areas I didn't like. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this and I look forward to seeing what you make. Bye. <laughs>